Now let's actually make our app do something. Right now it doesn't do anything interesting. So the first thing I want to do is modify the sign page. So I'm going to modify the sign page to actually take in data and send it somewhere to get processed. So the very first thing I need to do is set the names on my inputs because they don't exist yet. So I'll just call the name input name and the name on the comment input comment. So fairly obvious names there. And I also set the form attributes. So method is going to be post and action will be some flask route that will handle this post. So I'll call this flask route process. So here in my guestbook.py, I'll add a third route and I'll call it process. And because this is going to take uh, a post from a form, I'll set the methods to only be posts. So you won't be able to type in process in the browser URL bar and access it. You can only access it by sending a post request. So for now, I'll call this process and I'll leave it blank. So I'll just return nothing, but we'll get back to that in a moment. So in my sign file, or my sign.html file, I have this form action process, and then I have the name and a comment that I want to send over. So now what I want to do is I actually want to process that information when it gets sent over, and then I want to do something with it and display it. So here in process, uh, this will be kind of an intermediate step. Uh, at the end of the app, it will be different, but for now we can deal, deal with it in one way. So the very first thing I need to do is import the request object. So by importing this, I will have access to all the data that was passed over in the request. In our case, it's going to be the name and the comment. So here I'll create two variables, name and comment. And name is going to be the name field. So if I do request, dot form data actually just request form to get the form data and I say name that will assign the name to the name variable in Python if I do the same thing for the comment I'll assign the comment to the comment variable here so the request object can take many different types of request data. So uh, in this case, it's form data, but it can also be uh, query string parameters. It can be JSON data. It can be files. Uh, however, you can pass data through HTTP requests, the request object can handle it. But in our case, it's only going to be form data. So it's request.form and then the name. So what I want to do is simply return uh, the results of this and I'll say something like return name is colon and then I'll pass in the name and the comment is colon and I'll pass in the comment so let's run this and see what happens so I'll refresh the sign page and I'll type in my name and I'll type in a comment. This is a comment and I'll sign it. And now I see uh, this ugly information here. Name is Anthony and the comment is this is a comment. So that's giving us on our way to actually doing something with this data. It's not very exciting yet, but this is the first step. And like I said, if you go to process and you try to call a get request, it will say method not allowed. So now the next thing I want to do is actually modify the index template to accept whatever data I pass in. So here, uh, the name, so let me show you the visual version first. Name will actually be the name I pass in. So I'll make this a variable. And I'll say name. And then instead of having this gibberish, I'll pass in comment. So I'll save that and instead of returning that, I'll return this. So I'll delete the line above in a moment. I'll return render template index.html and I'll pass in the name, which is name and the comment, which is comment. So now let me get rid of this line. 
So this is temporarily going to break the index one because now it won't make sense on the index. But as we build the app more, things will start to make sense and things will come together completely. So if I refresh the page, like I said, this broke the index page because I have no data passed in. But if I go to the sign the guest book page, and now I say, my name is Anthony, and I say, this is a comment. And then if I sign it, it returns the guest book page again. Uh, but this time it's Anthony and then the comment that I passed in. So that's great. I have my first guest book comment. And all I had to do was uh, create this process route that actually took the data as it came in and did something with it. So like I said, this is an intermediate step. Uh, this is obviously not what our app is going to finally be. So in the next video, I'll talk about how to add a database in here and save this data. So uh, as people sign comments to the guest book, uh, all the comments will be saved. And when you load the index for the guest book, you can see all the comments that are in the guest book that have been signed by people.